good day folks in this video we can take a look into the backup and the recovery of ambari server service as we know the ambari uh, service server service is a web based uh, service and which is using a backend database so it can be an embedded db like uh, um, postgres sql or it can be the custom uh, db like uh, mysql or oracle so in this example i will uh, walk you through the recovery backup and recovery process and i was using the default uh, postgres database so these are the steps uh, which i am going to do so first i need to take the backup of my database so the default uh, in postgres so there will be a database with ambari so i need to take the backup of that db first uh, then i need to uh, identify a new host where i am planning to uh, install my ambari server and uh, then i will uh, uh, rec uh, reconstruct my ambari server by using this backup and start all the service and make sure everything is r running as before so these are the steps and uh, uh, so let's get started so this is my uh, cluster and i have cluster running on this uh, particular node and it's a single node instance only so i have uh, for testing purpose i am using a single uh, host instance and uh, first step uh, we will uh, make sure everything is up and running and uh, so we need to take the uh, backup of uh, the database first so i'm logging to this machine and uh, use this command so pg dump uh, so pg dump is the command used for uh, taking the backup of our postgres database okay and the u is the username is ambari and this is the database so uh, do that then uh, the password is the initial uh, default password is big data okay so take that now i got the file so ambari dot sql so this is like a text uh, sql file so i have to copy this file to the new machine so where i'm uh, going to reconstruct my database for the time uh, and let's look into this uh, default db and see what are the database so let me log into uh, okay so what else that i can do is so i can log into uh, this one psql and so i can uh, see the databases by using iphone l and uh, see it, it it's listing the database actually so this is the database and we have taken the uh, backup of uh, this one and uh, whatever the users so there is a user called ambari and uh, here i use the custom uh, default uh, settings for this db so not customized db so the say I, I will be going to do the same installation on my new machine and uh, i will try to restore the, this database and uh, will uh, run my ambari server on that new host so if you don't uh, remember uh, the password details for this database and what is the type of database you are using so go to this directory etc ambari server conf directory and open this ambari properties file sorry so here you can see what is the database using and uh, what is the host it's using so all this information Okay. see somewhere you can see so this is the database and the schema name is this one and the password is under this file so if you want to know the password so you can get that from this password file so it is nothing but big data so we use these credentials to take the backup and we have the backup so i will be transferring this backup to my new machine okay so i'm going to stop the services and uh, or else i can keep as it is because uh, even in with the new ambari also i will be able to uh, watch this anyway i'm just stopping because i don't want to uh, get the service interrupted in between so i i'm just stopping all the services so now all the services are stopped so i can go ahead and stop my uh, ambari server and agent so service ambari server stop then uh, service ambari agent stop ok 
okay so i stopped the server as well as the agent component on my existing uh, ambari machine server and uh, host okay so now i i, I have just i have to uh, do the prerequisites on my uh, new host so this is the new host and where i am going to install uh, my uh, uh, new ambari server so i have all the prerequisites so i have copied in a file and executing that into my uh, new machine okay so uh, first uh, now uh, we need to transfer uh, the files okay so i i have the first http1 okay so this is my uh, old ambari server machine so from here i have to transfer that the backup file to my new machine so for that i am using winscp utility so use winscp and use that first machine ip address then i am using my aws instance are not supporting uh, the password based authentication so i am using the key based then login okay so it's connected to my old ambari server so here i have the ambari uh, so uh, let i have some old files also let me delete it from here and to create a, a new folder here like uh, ambari backup and to, so i am copying these files to here i mean uh, so you if you have uh, some uh, scp tools to transfer from one machine to other you can use that since i am using this why because i have an aws instance and uh, i i don't have that uh, private key available on my uh, machine so that's why i am using so you can use any transfer method so my intention is to transfer uh, this file ambari uh, backup from uh, main uh, server to the other one so which is our new uh, server which we are going to build okay so i will use again the winscp to connect to uh, this new server and transfer that from my host okay so i um, i just want to copy this here and uh, do the after settings so i will be transferring this into uh, my uh, new server okay so login So from here, <coughs> I am trying to copy the Sambari backup to uh, the new server. That's it. So one more file you need to update into the new machine. So go to the old machine, okay, and go to the directory etc m dot repos dot d, <coughs> and open the file Sambari repo, because we need uh, this file. Ambari repo file because we, we just want to uh, install uh, this uh, Ambari components onto the new machine. So go to the new machine m.repos.d okay. and create a new Ambari.repo and paste the contents, the same contents here. So also uh, you can copy this HDP and uh, the other HDP utils rep also. So and just let me because it may need in future. So okay. So vi HDP dot repo and the contents are this one and. Uh, so I have one more files to copy. So that is HDP iPhone utils dot. Okay, so this is also I need. So go to the new node and open a new file and copy and paste these contents. Okay, so so that it. Then. Uh, so just check okay whether you are able to install ambari server so just do 
and install of Ambari server on this new machine. Okay, so the file contain no section holder. Okay, so there is something wrong with uh, uh, some uh, configuration HTTP repo. So let me try to tr troubleshoot that. Slash etc m dot repos dot d. Okay, actually, I think I missed this header file. This file, I, I this path I missed. Okay, so let me add it here. Then do the installation. So here I'm doing Ambari server installation on my new uh, machine. Okay, so it's installing Ambari server and. Uh, Postgres and uh, supporting libraries by default So once the installation is done, so we can go ahead and do Ambari server setup command Okay So select the default because I have I made the same set of settings in my uh, old Ambari server as machine So here I'm not making much changes to that then the JDK so 1.8 then yes So here uh, we have option to option for advanced configuration for database and uh, again I am using the default I am okay with the default again if you need uh, some customized database so you can choose that again I am okay with the default that means the default Ambari and big data uh, credentials Ambari will be the username and big data is the uh, its password and I am okay with that so selecting default otherwise you need to if you need much more security so you need to create the separate user with the standard password so initializing uh, my uh, databases and everything so here is some some problem so my postgres is not uh, started so let me do a restart of that and uh, uh, Okay, so th let me uh, do the setup again. Because the way this is a very rare case, like uh, so the database is not starting. So uh, you can just uh, do uh, the setup again. Uh, uh, then uh, th we, we will be able to recover that. Okay, so now it's saying the this is completed successfully without any er error this time so now we will go ahead and uh, do the uh, restore so for that so let me log into postgres then use psql and uh, uh, just check what are the uh, databases okay so so already there and uh, since i did the initial setup uh, by using ambari uh, setup and uh, use the default value so some of the tables and the other schemas will be there so I don't want that so I'm just dropping that drop database somebody and uh, again I'm using create database somebody right so since I did the initial setup so some of the tables and the values will be the default so that I don't want that so I'm just deleting this table alone so or else here in the during the Ambari server setup so you can uh, customize that and again you can use a postgres with uh, this updated okay so you have multiple ways or different ways to do this so the here uh, what i did is i just did everything and i'm a bit lazy so i did that and uh, doing a different approach let's just deleting that database and creating it again so now i need this uh, file uh, somewhere so let me uh, let me uh, so let me list the database and the last uh, database is there for Ambari and uh, let me <coughs> go out and uh, so I just need uh, this um, file okay so where is that file and this is in Ambari backup 
and uh, just let me copy this to slash tmp because i just need somewhere some location which is accessed by postgres and the ch mod uh, 666 okay so then uh, i can uh, restore this so psql uh, then ambari then slash tmp ambari dot sql okay so i did uh, the restore i mean whatever the database backup we have taken then i have uh, added to uh, my uh, new uh, server and then i can start ambari server ambari server start okay so again it uh, takes some time so it's waiting for the start and you can view the log file from this location in case of any issues or error so you can just go ahead and look this file for uh, more uh, details okay so now the service ambari server service is started so you can just check the status and to make sure it's running so now i will uh, go back to my okay so this is the host name or new host name uh, new host where my ambari server is running so i will go back to my previous nodes okay so previous machine and i have to start my ambari agent and uh, so that it has to point to this new uh, location vi slash etc ambari agent then con conf agent dot ini so here so host name so if you have multiple hosts involved same server then you have to go to each and every host i, I mean the ambari agent host and uh, replace this with new ambari server ip then service ambari agent start okay so this will uh, start the ambari agent and that will keep monitor to that server name so now uh, we will open this one and uh, get the ip for node 2 and uh, go to the browser and use it 8080 use the credentials default credentials or whatever the credentials we have created custom users you can use that also so now you can see uh, all the server. actually this is a new installation of ambari server still you can see all the services you have then you can uh, okay i can start the service from here so confirm start so that it will uh, start all the services again if you are not uh, i mean so if you are not seeing this red or green icon and uh, something like amber with the question mark so uh, that means uh, so you are Cloudera manager agents are not communicating so in that case you have to verify your Cloudera manager agent is pointing to this uh, new host okay so again it takes some time so the starting of startup of the service so we will wait uh, have to wait some time so based on the number of services it takes uh, the time may different so okay so we'll uh, wait till this finish So now all uh, services are up and running and uh, my Ambari server is running on the new host. So I hope uh, you like the content of this video. So please subscribe to get more updates. Thank you. Bye.